Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Table Cell Alignment with Tabs and Indents. Here's the scenario. You have a table with text and numbers that you would like to format with tabs and indents. Watch this video to learn how to do this. After you create a table, when your cursor is in the table, a new tab is displayed called Table Tools and it has two sub-tools, Design and Layout. So if you need to insert or delete rows or columns, you have a couple of choices. You can right click and select the drop down arrows. Or you can click on the layout tab, which has many more selections. What if you want all the columns or rows to be the same size? Highlight the table and click distribute columns. You can do the same thing with distribute rows. Want the text alignment to be centered horizontally and vertically in the cell? Select Align Center and your text will be horizontally and vertically aligned. There are many other selections here as well. You can also change the direction of the text. So if you had a table with a lot of different columns, but your header text is too long, you can select Text Direction and then you can close the columns to meet your needs. To maneuver in a table, so to go from cell to cell, you can use the tab key. However, if you want to tab over within a cell, you need to hold the control key and then tab. What if you want the tab to be at a certain measurement? First, you have to have the ruler displayed. If you don't have the ruler displayed, go to View and in the Show group, click on Ruler. Now, these are the tabs that are available. This is the left tab, the center tab, right tab, decimal tab, and then a few others. Let's put a left tab in here. So maybe I want the left tab to be right here. Just click on the ruler. Place your cursor before the text. Go Control Tab and your text will align at that position. If I take the tab and I drag it, I can move it. But if you do not highlight all the cells, only that particular cell will have that tab displayed. So if, if I wanted all of the cells to have the same alignment, I would highlight all the cells. Then I would click on the ruler and then I could go Control Tab on each of these lines and they would be aligned at the same position. If you no longer want the tab displayed at that position, highlight your cells and just pull the tab off the roller. Let's say you have a group of numbers with decimal tabs. Highlight the cells, click on the decimal tab here and click on the roller in that column. Now all of your cells are aligned at the decimal point. You can do this with dashes as well. Notice that when I click in a cell, there are indents. The top one is the first line indent, and the bottom one is the hanging indent or left indent. The hanging indent will work if you have text that spills over to the next line. You can see how the hanging indent works independently. If I highlight the whole cell and click on this little box at the bottom, both the first line indent and the hanging indent will move at the same time. Here's a hint. If you moved the indents in a cell and then try to center aligned that cell, they will be center aligned, but between the indents, not the cell margin. So if I clicked on the center align, they're aligned between the indents. This is the right indent. These are the hanging and first line indent. So if I move these back over, now it's aligned within the column. To move the first line indent, just click on the top arrow. To move just the bottom hanging indent, don't click on this box, click on this little arrow. Because if you click on the box, it moves both the first line indent and the hanging indent at the same time. 
So just click on the little arrow and you can move your hanging indent. And that is the end of this lesson, table cell alignment with tabs and indents.